emotions are uh, inexorably linked to a, a change in our body state. That's normal physiology. That's what makes us human. What can happen in some disorders is that the tight link between emotion and body state change can become disordered, and that may be the basis for some what we call functional bowel disorders. Um, an integrated plan for patients that really are suffering with functional bowel disorders um, has to exploit some of the mind-body uh, connections that often are at the heart of driving some of the symptoms. Um, medications have a role, but uh, medications alone ignore some of the um, key disease driving factors. Um, we've found um, great success with uh, steering patients through a program that uh, integrates uh, health psychologists who help implement cognitive behavioral therapy and other mind-body uh, interventions such as mindful meditation, even hypnosis. Um, and uh, we help uh, steer patients to those resources at the same time as using medications to blunt some of the symptoms. Uh, we were able to publish a study this past summer uh, that documented for the first time uh, the neural map of the adrenal gland in a primate. Um, because the brain areas that we were able to show that are linked to the adrenal gland, which is essentially at the core of a fight or flight or stress response, um, may be sort of a Rosetta Stone of sorts for understanding how the brain integrates um, cognition, emotion, and movement uh, with the changes in organ function, not just to the adrenal, but other organs. I'm actively engaged in a research program right now to map the uh, cerebral cortical representations of GI organs, including the stomach and the colon. If it is on our radar that um, mind-body processes are as etiologically linked and pathophysiologically important um, as uh, what's going on in the organ itself, um, I think we're gonna uh, do better for our patients faster.